Well, hello everybody. It's currently the uh, first day of Confuzzled, which is exactly where I am right now. Although, right now, I'm currently filming this in advance, so I have something to upload, because I am smart. But obviously, with the biggest UK convention happening as you watch, I thought it'd be a good time to talk about maybe, just maybe, we all kind of feel a little bit obligated to enjoy ourselves, even when perhaps we're not going to. It's a subject I've spoken about before where when you go to a convention, there's almost an expectation of the amount of things you're going to do, uh, the ex exact kind of things you're going to do, like go to the dance competition and go and have a look in the art auction, and these are things you might very much enjoy, but if you hadn't sort of uh, thought to yourself or seen online that this is something you should do, would it ever have really been something you would have gone out of your way to go and enjoy? We all want to fit in. That's that's one of the many reasons we're in this fandom is because we don't fit in elsewhere, but we fit in here. And we all want to be a part of something. So it's easy to think that, okay, if I want to be a part of something and enjoy myself, then I should look to what other people are doing and try and imitate, try and uh, do what they're doing, and then I'll have a good time as well. So you go to these dance competitions, you go to panels that originally you might not have really thought much about and, you know, you kind of enjoy it, but it's not... It's not exactly your cup of tea, it's good, but it's perhaps not the best thing in the world you could be doing with your time. But you see everybody else having a good time, and you think, well, why can't I have that? And you, know, you go into the bar, and everyone's drinking heavily, and then out comes the inevitable need to have a good old drink to try and force yourself to have a good time, but that never really works, does it? It's something I see quite a bit, where you see a lot of people trying to convince themselves that they are enjoying something. I think it's why we see so many, you know, in-jokes and memes being forced at conventions. It's, you know, well, if everybody found this funny, then therefore so did I. But, I don't know, it feels a little bit hollow for a lot of people. I mean, maybe it's just me. This current convention would be my fourth, and, uh, you know, the first one, I was very much trying to do everything I thought everyone did. I went to the big fursuit parade, and it was hot and crowded and a bit boring and nothing really happened and you know I don't think I went to a dance competition that year but I, I went to a couple of panels and events that I won't name that I just didn't really get much out of there was something that everybody found hilarious and I'm sat there like oh this is funny is it okay this is classing for a joke all right then you know to reach their own but this is this is a struggle to get through this but I did it because it's what everybody else around me was doing. I did it because I thought that's what I needed to do to enjoy myself. And it was only when I stopped trying to please other people and how to, you know, to stop trying to do what they were doing to please myself that I started having a good time. I mean, all too often we suffer from a sense of obligation to, you know, the, the whole appearance of what a furry convention is. That we have to do certain things because that's what the convention must be. But maybe, just maybe, radical idea I know, we'd enjoy ourselves a lot more if we cared more about what we actually want out of a convention, rather than what we feel like we should get out of it. What do you guys think? When you go to a convention, do you go to all the panels and do all the typical stuff, or do you mainly just call it with yourself and think, you know what, this is what I want to do today, this is what I'm going to do today? And which one do you think is more successful? Leave your comments down below, I might read them, who knows, I'm probably going to be pretty busy, but well, I'm going to be having a shit at some point, so I guess I'll browse through the comments then. You know, it's in its home field at least. And of course, if you are watching this at the convention, first of all, why are you watching a video at a convention? Go out there and enjoy yourself. But second of all, come and say hello, because I'll be wandering about here, there, and fucking everywhere. I'll be doing that panel, I'll be doing a dance competition. You'll see me about, I'm pretty, pretty hard to miss. So by now you're probably thinking, oh he only really talks about his friends, well unfortunately friends is what I have that I commission, so I have a lot of artists who are friends, I have a lot of friends who are artists, so it's kind of hard to talk about the pieces and experiences that I've had without talking about my friends, but I'll try my hardest not to. Ah, fuck it. This week we got Ink, a very close friend of mine, an amazing, tiny, small little artist, proper little southern belle with an amazing accent, holy shit. You might recognise Ink from being in one of my videos, one of the MFF ones, and hopefully a few more once we go back to MFF. And unfortunately, I can't really showcase any of the artwork she's done personally for me, because I've not actually had any. Um, but I did use them for gift art over Christmas, and holy shit, their fucking style. Like, if you like chibi, if you like digital kind of artwork, this is your fucking goal right here, because holy shit. 
First piece I commissioned was a birthday present for a very close friend of mine. And as soon as I saw the star, I knew I fucking had to have it. And wow. Like the, the process was amazing. There were sketches, there was a lot of whiffs, there was a lot of discussion as well, and very open. I mean, I had a ref for the character I needed, but not for the fucking gerbils that were gonna be in the shop, but they were fine with that. They could take that on board and run with it. And that's, that's brilliant. That's exactly the kind of communication you want when you're commissioning. It also opens some very silly ideas as well, and of course that is vital in this fucking fandom, including in-jokes, and this one, this is exactly, it's an in-joke, and I'm just gonna leave it there, I'm not even gonna explain it, okay? Even if I did explain it, it wouldn't really do it justice as to how funny this is to some of us. But overall, they have a constantly developing art style and a drive to continue trying to be better. Again, something shared by a lot of artists, but I've never seen it so keenly focused in cases such as this, and... Really, I feel bad that I haven't commissioned more and more. It's difficult with friends because no one ever wants to take your money, even though you want to fucking throw it at their face. And it's difficult when I absolutely suck when it comes to fucking commission ideas. Mostly it's just, uh, can you do this, but with paws. Pretty much that's all I've got. So you can see my fucking dilemma because I don't want to have a fucking vault of poor art. And actually, maybe that is what I want. This is definitely an artist that you're going to want to follow. They're going to be working hard on a lot of new commissions, and I see them getting out a decent workflow quite often as well. So the next time you've got a bit of spare cash and you think, oh, I really want some amazing, decent, cute artwork. There's a nice digital style that I can use online. Where could I go for that? Well, Uncle Artemis told you that ink is the fucking one to go for. So, you know, pile on that bandwagon shit, yeah? Uh, so here we are once again throwing some attention towards your random words that you scroll beneath my videos. Because apparently that deserves some sort of reply these days. Sure the fleshy bastard has found some decent inflammatory stuff that will make me rage, so let's just crack right into it. Fuck the magic, Artemis owner, wise words. Owner? Owner? He ain't my fucking owner, we're like roommates or some shit. No one owns me, I own myself, okay? Jesus. This isn't like forced servitude just for me to make these fucking videos. Like, I earn my own keep. I'm my own dog. Fuck owner. No, 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 no. We need more lewds. Jesus Christ, no we don't. We're already at, like, fucking capacity for lewd. There is plenty of lewd to go around. There's more lewd than we need. If you, like, filled it up with barrels and, like, classed it as oil, we're the fucking Exxon Valdez in terms, you know? We're like the fucking spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Lewd? We have too fucking much lewd. We need some more not lewd. Let's, let's have some more nice. But how do we deal with the zoos and pedos at the convention? That's a valid question. I didn't really address that in the last video, so let's do that here. Uh, first of all, you personally don't. Don't, like, go up to someone and start shit because that's not safe. You don't know how they're going to fucking react. Secondly, you report that to the actual authorities. I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe Confuzzled is, like, the only place that actually explicitly bans people who are, like, on a sex offenders register or something. So, at the moment, you might have to sort of speak to con ops and be like, look, it's not really appropriate for these guys to be here or for, you know, registered sex offenders to be running a panel about sex. You all know who we're fucking talking about there. But um, ultimately, it's not something you need to go and white knight crusades and like take up a sword and be like, ah, yeah, we shouldn't have these people here. Y you do what you should through the correct and proper channels, okay? Like, I get that they might be a zoo or a, a sex offender or some shit like that, but that doesn't mean that you have the right to get up in their face and be violent or threatening. So do it through the proper channels, keep yourself covered, and just fucking hell, don't overreact. <laughs> Like, I'm not defending them or anything like that, but, I mean, I, I, we are a little bit too quick to incite violence against people we don't like in this fandom, and that's just not right. If Artemis is making a video on this, are things getting worse regarding this topic? I don't know if they're getting worse, or uh, whether it's just more noticeable, or maybe it's just there's more new people in here, but... I think it's always been at the same level, so maybe not worse is the right word. It's just, you know, people come into the fandom not really knowing much, and then they learn, but there's still people coming in. So, it, you know, it's worth saying again, it's a valid point, and I could make a video out of it, so it's definitely a valid point. 
By the way, do you need plane tickets to America? Because I have nothing better to do with my money and live here, so, like, shameless gifting to Popufers. <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm not a Popufer. I don't really class up in those, you know, upper echelons of fame. And also, I use Popufer as an insult, so I wouldn't throw that word around on myself. Uh, secondly, I would fucking love for you to buy me plane tickets, but my goddamn morals won't let me. So, I don't know, if you want to show support, like, donate to Patreon or some shit, like, sign up to that. But, I mean, if you want to dump plane tickets on me, I'll... No, 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 no. You're, you're very kind and generous, and your support is massively appreciated, but... Oh, as people will know, I have... For somebody who begs for money as much as I fucking do, I'm not very good at taking it. Like, if someone's gonna buy a meal, I'm gonna fucking tag them back on that one, so... Yeah, I don't know. Come, come to Patreon. At least then I feel like I'm earning some support. Holy shit, that wasn't too bad this time around. Nothing too rage-inspiring, at least. So, uh, honest answers. Look at that. We might be sailing somewhere closer to normality and common sense. Or maybe that's just a little bit too much to hope for. <laughs>